First of all, I'm mad. I was like any normal girl with ambition and goals at the end of her uh, education year. I was so excited to work hard, study, and struggle to myself in order to reach my dream. My favorite subject is physics. You know Newton, all of us knew, know Newton. Yes. All of us rule, uh, I love them. I, I didn't see anyone love them uh, except me. <laughs> But um, the Demon Day, come 7th of October, came and destroyed my dream. Destroyed uh, the dream of every male and female student. We woke up this day, choked um, this morning, in the morning. I was going at school. I was getting ready and packing my bag with me and uh, arranged my school schedule. And then suddenly uh, something happened um, that could not happen. Um, the sound of bombs. Let me tell you what has happened with us um, during the war, a third day of the war. As I remember, my me and my sister was um, standing at the window. This is the first time of us just standing at the window to just see the, the bombs uh, right there. So suddenly, suddenly, I opened my eyes. Everything wore dust and uh, the smell of ash. So I didn't uh, see anything actually here. At this moment, I realized uh, that we had been uh, bumped for the occupation uh, plans. I woke up, uh, not hearing anything. I found myself at the door. And then, and then, of the sound of screaming starting coming from around me and uh, everywhere was uh, around me was full of blood oh and I, I didn't know where to begin to um I, like all my clothes was full of blood if i tell you all details all words my words will not um, describe the, the feeling that we really live I just w wake up and the ambulance was uh, being come. I don't know why. This is, was uh, the most weird something I have ever lived in my life. Um, and then we went to the hospital. Me and my mother and my sister. Um, the sound of screamers was terrible. So uh, I was crying and crying and crying. And mommy just told me, no, no, please stop crying. But, but I still just uh, choked. And I didn't expect that would, that thing would happen to us. We told to like four wars, but this happened, never happened to me before. But uh, when we went to the hospital and uh, when I was crying, I saw a child. Actually, I know him, um, but um, also in just their, their condition that worse than mine. Uh, their anger. So, but I saw him uh, uh, fast, and he was not crying. And I tell myself, why you are crying? Because the little child was not crying. Why you are crying? So I just stopped myself. After that, we went to my grandma house, as I said, and um, um, it was uh, like they they welcoming us with uh, with crying and what happened to to you. And then we spent three days there. It was the worst three days I have ever lived in my life. Uh, because the sound bombs, the night came, the night is terrible, as I said, as known of, on us. So, um, and the morning, in the 13th of October, we had an information that the Israeli occupation uh, um, told us to move from the north Gaza to the south Gaza, claim to, to, to a safe place. So um, we go to the south Gaza. Um, they are on a car. We're on the way. So that make us feel um, worrying. We we spent one week in the street inside the shelter. As I remember, uh, there was a night. There was a, a, a warming to bump the, the next house of the shelter. So there's no actually a safe place to live on. 
So you don't have a, a bathroom. Spend one hour and two hours just to entering the bathroom. Because there's a lot of people who are waiting. And then you you sit up like with nothing. You just uh, uh, waiting for your death. But well, but uh, in that shelter, I I I make a, a friendship. Yes, I, I also have my friends going there, chilling with each other, laughing with each other, um, spending all the days. I can laugh with them because. Uh, um, we we have to forget all of this we we have to live so we find something laughing to laugh on um we we make ourselves happy as well as we can just to forget what 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 happens um to him us and we're discovering a lot of things yes it was bored and depressing it's a, it's a terrible thing. Okay, I'm going to go the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go the house. I'm going to go to 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 the house. the only thing actually I get with me my bag uh, from my uh, mom. Home. So these are the two uh, loved ones, English and physics, as I say. But but in these condition, the conditions, I was not be able to to study because I don't have a teacher. So uh, it was hard, really hard condition. As I say, we tried and we are suffering all day. Uh, day after day, we are suffering from these hot conditions, difficult conditions. Uh, we have really in a big and big starvation. Uh, we can't hold this anymore, as I said before. <clears> or <throat> oh, I can't see all the people suffering from the starved and the death of people. We we can't hold this anymore. So we decided to leave this city. Not just we we don't love it. We I adore I adore this city. I adore it, and they and they lost. Um, the last station it's really become so bigger become so modern and so beautiful pretty has a pretty places has a modern places like i love i love i adore gaza i thought when i was traveling it's going to be everything better but it's getting worse because uh, when you get away from your family, from your friends, from your people who know, you get more stressful for them. If they're gonna live, if they're gonna... So... Uh, you feel afraid of them. Of their lives. It's too hard for me. I, I, I don't know what, what, what will happen if something happened to them. What will happen to me? I will, I will live another shocked that I won't go through with it. So, and I also started taking a therapy sessions. Um, it took me a month to recover from this shock. Uh, she support me to just carry on my studies, uh, to not think all of us and leave uh, all this behind me because uh, life is continue and uh, you have to go on and uh, move on. So um, this is giving me a big motivation to just continue, but, but I, I can't stop talking about what is happening in Gaza, what's happening to my friends and my family. Um, God willing, God willing, yes, but um, I don't know what, what I have to think, but uh, these sessions um, make me feel better. And here I am, in a stranger country, stranger people, uh, that I think that I don't know, struggling with myself to complete my uh, um, my studies, which I got not completed due to the war condition. Can you imagine an uh, inter-academic year that you want to complete it, it only in two months? Uh, I love physics, but my dream is more different than than the way I love in, in subjects in school. 
Um, my dream was to be a doctor, to help the, the people. And this uh, feeling increasing with the war 